Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, X-Wing players, and, and anyone who is interested in playing X-Wing. Um, this video is going to be a comparison of different Rebel ships throughout 1.0 all the way up to 2.0, and in some cases 2.5, but um, so in which case, uh, we got a comment a while back from uh, one of our viewers when we did the unboxing video for the Outrider, and uh, he asked if it would be cool to uh, see the comparison between the two. So we decided to make it into a bigger video. So thank you so much for your comments. And yes, we do actually pay attention to them and take suggestions and figure out what we can do to make things better. So now, in which case, we're going to go ahead and start with the original A-Wing right there. And as you can see, it's got its own little color scheme, all that other stuff right there. Kind of dip it back so you can see the bottom portions there. So now, later they came out with the Rebel Aces expansion pack. And as you can see, basically the same model, just different paint schemes. So as you can see here, same shape, all that stuff. Model is still the same mostly. And flip it upside down. Oh, no. There we go. Flip it upside down so you can see that. Same thing here in the back. You can see a little bit of the color difference on this one right here because of the two in the back. One has more of a yellow. Now, they didn't do anything for the engines there, but there they are. So, now, sticking with the original still. We go ahead and we introduce the 2.0 A-Wing. Now, there is a little bit change. Now, obviously we have a little bit of change here with the front. You can also see that they added a more distinct line and a little bit more reflective surface on this particular window. So, now, I think that the guns are mostly the same size, but I think there's a difference in width sometimes. So now we'll go ahead and spin it off to the side here. You can see that they kept that little slot open in the back towards the thrusters there. Then you can also see that they actually put in some kind of fire there or color so that you could actually see that the engine was moving or burning, I should say. And then, of course, we got the bottom. And the back of the bottom. So now, later, they released a um, another expansion pack referred to as the Phoenix Cell Squadron Pack. And as you can see, another just simple color change different variations in paint scheme, but still the same model, same ship. Still had the thrusters in the back. A little bit of a deeper color this time though. So now that is all of the A-Wing stuff right there. So now we're gonna go ahead and put those up to the side over here. And then we're gonna start bringing in the B-Wing. Now the original B-Wing here, had a red dot there on the side. And there were friends of mine that went ahead and when they went to the back, they went ahead and loosened the peg portion so that you could actually uh, swing it back and forth. But um, that's what they actually did later in the 2.0 version. You also had the ability to go ahead and twist the uh, cockpit here. And you can see the paint scheme and all that stuff. Now, just like with the A-Wing, the B-Wing was given another version, paint version. This came with the Rebel Aces pack. And as you can see, difference in paint scheme. They didn't really change that much in terms of the build and everything else. But it's all just a different paint scheme. Now, I'll go ahead and put this one off to the side for a minute. And we're going to introduce you to the 2.0 version. 
Now, the biggest difference, obviously, as you can see here, is that these wings had to stay open at all times. They now have the ability, excuse me, there we go. They have the ability to open wings or have their wings closed. And yes, the formation has different things that you can do and everything else as well. Now, you can also see that the cockpit now spins around and that is everything that is different. You can see that they still have the red dot there, red dot, just a difference in color now. And thruster color instead of no thruster color here. And there you go. Now, of course, with the introducing or introduction of the Phoenix Squadron, they had to bring in this B-Wing which you may recognize from the cartoon series. So what I will go ahead and show you is yes, it still has the spinning cockpit, as you can see right here. It still has the opening wings. And then the color schemes are obviously very different. And even the thrusters in the back are slightly different in color as well. Which makes you wonder, do they burn a different kind of gas? Just kidding. Anyhow, so, uh-oh, there I go. Dropped into the base. Okay. So, those are all the B-Wings. And those are the changes that you've seen all the way from 1.0 all the way up to 2.0. And then we get into the ship that started it all for me. And that was... The X-Wing. Now, you may look at this one and say, whoa, what happened to this one? It's been abused and used and everything else. It's had to be repaired a couple of times. You can see that we have a very strong magnet at the bottom of the ship because the pig broke off. So then I went ahead and got some magnets and then had to glue it very heavily on the plastic piece here. And I don't even fly this one anymore because, well... It's seen its day and it's ready to just sit on the shelf as it usually does. Now, here's a comparison to one that I can still fly, but I don't. So, um, because once you see the conversion into the 2.0, you will see why I prefer the 2.0 ships. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a change in color here and there like one appears brighter or darker than the other and there we go dropping bases again so now those are the original 1.0 ships i probably got that one in the original uh x-wing starter kit so and then we have this one that came in the regular expansion pack and as we were tr transitioning into 2.0, they came out with the Saw's Renegades. And Saw's Renegades, you can see that it is still the X-Wing, except that its wings are closed. Now, they say you can open these wings. And as you can see, I'm opening them up. I'm holding them in place. As soon as I let go, though, you can see that they gradually start to go ahead and close up. So now, with that going on, um, somebody told me, a while ago when these first were released that there was a way to pop open the back and to get these things to open a little bit more loosely but i just didn't want to take the risk especially since if i wanted to replace it i would have to buy the expansion that came with a second ship so there it was but now we're going to go ahead and put the 1.0 down and show you the 2.0 one so oops that back on now as you can see these wings open and close a lot more easily whereas I need two fingers to open this up just to have it closed this one either I've got a lot of use of it or they really loosen these up so now that means that that is the big difference here Sometimes when you are comparing the different ships, you can see that some get a little bit more detail and darkness than others. You can see right here behind the R2 
sorry, excuse me, behind the R2 unit that this gets a little bit more shaded and darker and this one, not as much. So, but they both have the same ability to open and close their wings. Both mostly look the same, maybe a change in the red there, but not that much of a change. And there's a back again. So now we're gonna go ahead and close those, move those out of the way. Then we're gonna go ahead and bring in the other ship that came with that. So this is actually another transition into 2.0, but the original U-Wing, sorry, I missed the camera. The original U-Wing is this one. So now, you got the U-Wing, popular from Rogue One, had the wings open, had the ability to do a full stop and flip either 90 or 180 degrees. So a pretty cool ship. And then you have its updated cousin. So Saw's, or Saw Guerrero's Renegades had this particular, particular expansion. And you can see that there's a lot of difference in the uh, paint scheme, obviously. Then as we flip it back, you can see still the different changes. But the same thing for the original. It could open up its wings, close them. Not much of a difference except for paint underneath. You get a little bit more detail from the one that is... Um, Rogue One with the little white right there, no white right there, but you still have the same drawbridge opening. And there you go. So those are the two Ewings that are out there. Now we go all the way to 1.0 for this particular one. And as you can see, this is the Y-Wing. You can see that it has a couple of guns here in the front. There is supposed to be the turret. Oh, sorry, that's out of board or out of focus. So you see the two guns in the front, just barely. I'll put my finger underneath so you can see that. And then you have the turret right there, and then you have the droid. Now, let's go ahead and bring over the other comparison, and that is going to be the 2.0. And as you can see. Lots of changes. For instance, the guns up in the front are a lot more evident. You can also see that the turret on top is actually raised now. I'm also going to say, though, that the droid here is not as bright as the first one. So you have to kind of look for it. But the big difference I'd like to point out is the difference in the two portions in the back. So you can see that these are a lot more square, a little bit bigger. And when I actually flip them, looking at the camera, you can see that the circles kind of become more square. And obviously the 2.0 is bigger than the 1.0 and a lot more detailed. So that is the Y-Wing. Now, our last one for this video, is going to be the comparison between the two Outriders. This is the original 1.0 Outrider. I'm actually going to take it off because as you can see, it's peg right there is a little bit loose. It got a lot of use when I was flying it back in 1.0 days. And you can see a lot of the color. Now let's go ahead and compare it to the 2.5. So, same Outrider, mostly the same model if you take a look at it. But the thing that I'm going to point out is the detail. A little bit darker here. And then the cannons are about the same. You can see the difference between the two cockpits and also, just in general, the color scheme. Got a lot more scorch marks and a lot more abuse on what you see here. The cannon is actually colored this time as opposed to the other that you see there. I'm also going to point out that the engines 
vastly different because you have a lot more color to show that kind of blue um, feel or that blue, not exhaust, but uh, thrust, sorry, that blue thrust that you normally see coming out of the Falcon. But overall, just a lot of small differences, such as colored portion here, same as the prime or the base coat. So a lot more detail. I think the uh, 1.0 has a little bit more detail when it comes to this portion right here, but you can leave that in the comments as to what do you think there. But yeah, that is the whole entire difference between the 1.0 ships and the 2.0 ships, and in some cases, the 2.5 ships. Now, we only decided to do the Rebel portion, and we'll see how many likes we get on this particular video, and that will determine if we're going to do any more ship comparisons, um, maybe do a comparison between First Order and uh, Empire. Um, so you just got to let us know if that is something that you would be interested in because, uh, that's everything that we have for the rebels. So, all right. Thank you so very much for watching and please click like on the video if you enjoyed it and please make certain to subscribe to our channel and tell more people about us. Thank you. Bye.